Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I hope you all guys are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today I want to talk about uh, <laughs> today I want to talk about Maxine now this movie just came out, I just came back from seeing the movie and I gotta say this movie is absolutely absolutely awesome now I have to say that I am a big fan of Ty West, I really enjoyed X and Pearl and I just couldn't wait to finally see Maxine, right? Because this movie is bigger, it's more majestic, it's just cooler in every way. And it's just, uh, you know, sort of a love letter to, like, 80s, 80s and 80s Hollywood, you know? So that's pretty cool. Now, this movie takes place, what, like, six years after the events of X. And, you know, Maxine is now in Hollywood and obviously she's trying to get famous. She, you know, from time to time she still has to do some dirty work. But, you know, she wants to become, like, a proper actress, you know, starring in big movies and, you know, not doing uh, porn anymore, right? So, uh, she wants to become an actress. She, you know, uh, makes some friends in Hollywood. And, uh, but there's this threat, right? N the Night Stalker, right? And Night Stalker was active in the 80s, right? So you have this, uh, you have this Night Stalker that is killing people and especially young women, right? And so, uh, even some of her friends, you know, they, uh, get killed and obviously she's, uh, of interest to the FBI, not the FBI, but the police, right? So you have also these two detectives that, you know, they want to talk to Maxine because, you know, they obviously want to know some stuff because, you know, they know that she knows something, right? And she doesn't really want to talk to them. She She's not really interested in talking to people, you know, she's like, she's locked in, she wants to become an actress, and that's essentially only... Uh, or, you know, the only thing that she cares about. Now, that's all I'm gonna tell you, uh, essentially, uh, from, from the story itself, because, again, I think that this movie is fantastic, and I don't want to spoil too much, but, uh, Mia Goth, as Maxine, she's flawless, she's amazing, this is, she just gives it, you know, her all, basically, in, in, in this role, and, and she's fabulous in this movie. Now, I really do like uh, the fact that this movie is takes place in the 80s Hollywood, right? So this movie, in a way, is really similar to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood from Quentin Tarantino, right? Which I really enjoyed, I really liked, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, if you liked that movie, if you loved it, you're gonna love Maxine, guaranteed. Alright, so if you have enjoyed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you'll definitely love Maxine. The vibes are the same, but obviously, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood takes place in the 60s. This movie takes place in the 80s. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I also gotta say that a lot of supporting cast uh, done a wonderful job in this movie, uh, including Bobby Kevinwale. Uh, Ken Whale, <laughs> you know, the guy from The Watcher on Netflix, uh, the, that guy, he plays a detective, and he's pretty awesome in this movie. Also, uh, Kevin Bacon is in this one, and he's great, also. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the supporting guest also includes uh, Halsey and the singer, and she does a wonderful job as, you know, Maxine's friend. She's awesome in this movie. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of great acting in this movie. Ty West did a wonderful job directing. You know, it, it just feels... This movie just feels awesome. Like, this is the kind of movie that I love. And because, again, I loved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And if you loved that movie, you're gonna love this. You know, combined with the fact that I loved X and I really enjoyed Pearl, this movie is like a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't want to hype it up for you, I don't want to say it's like the best thing ever uh, since sliced bread, but it's really close to that. It, it's awesome. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. So, this is my review of the movie Maxine. Uh, this movie is out right now, so I highly recommend watching it. You know, just go ahead and see it. It's really good. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. And bye.